I'm sure some of you will think I'm absolutely out of my mind, but one of my favorite things about using a Pixel device is their new weather application. I love the way that it looks. I love the way that it functions. And something very interesting is happening with this weather application. It is becoming a true standalone app. And with that fact, we have the fact that you can potentially sideload it. Some people have gotten a hold of that APK. They've thrown it onto APK Mirror where you can, duh, go download it and sideload it onto your application, onto your phone, I should say. In this video, I'm going to show you it running on my OnePlus Open. We're going to talk about what it looks like right now, how it works, and some features that are rumored to be coming to it very, very soon probably arriving with the Pixel 9, but hopefully as that happens, we can keep grabbing it off the Pixel 9 and then side load it onto our non-Pixel devices as apparently that works. Now, there may be a future where some of these features only work on Pixels and we're gonna get into that here in just a little bit, but let's jump over to my OnePlus Open and we're gonna scroll down and open up the brand new, I have two other applications, which one is which? I believe the left one is the Pixel Weather. Yes, indeed it is. And we'll go back and we'll look at this front page because you can actually save multiple different locations. I am in the Fountain City area of Knoxville. Good luck finding me. There's still thousands and thousands of houses. You'll never track me down. That wasn't a challenge. Please don't try. <laughs> Here's what it looks like though. It is still very different than the Pixel weather application that is on your Pixel phones, okay? It is not one-to-one. -one. What's strange is you can actually use the Google widget up here in the top left, and that is actually what the Pixel widget looks like or the Pixel weather app looks like on Pixel phones right now, but maybe they're switching to this as it becomes a standalone application. You can see a whole bunch of stuff, hourly forecast, 10 day forecast, and then you have these little, almost like mini widgets showing different things like the wind, the UV. And what's cool about these is you can long press them and you can move them around to sort them and change where they are. I believe the very top one, the hourly forecast cannot be done that way, but the 10 day forecast can be moved around. The rest of these can all be moved around. I don't think you can remove them, only just move them. If we go back and we go into my account here, you can see you can change between different units, Fahrenheit, Celsius, and you can also change the theme to system default where mine is, or light or dark mode force, whatever you're looking at. And then under weather settings, you see here that we have the ability to have weather forecast notifications and notifications for precipitation. So whenever there's potentially rain or snow coming in soon, you can get a pop-up that tells you that's happening as well as a forecast every evening for your current location. Now, I will admit that right now, this is pretty darn bare bones, but that is evidently going to be changing. We have Dylan here, Evo Wiz on Twitter, who seems to frequently have scoops on things like this. They said pixel weather is nice, as it is, but wait until you hear about the upcoming AI weather summaries and the weather map two. Now, one of those things is probably going to make some people sort of cringe AI weather summaries, but who knows? Maybe that's going to be useful. And that's something that I wonder if, you know, we continue to just sideload this application. Is that something that's going to work on every phone or on some devices? Are we going to run into trouble there? Is that something that might require Gemini Nano to be running on the device? Could it just use regular internet connected Gemini? Maybe it won't matter what you're on. Like you can actually sideload the AI wallpaper application on some devices. And if you can kind of find some workarounds, you can actually trick that thing into working. I've tried it on the OnePlus Open and I can't actually get it to function. Apparently, I think on some Samsung devices, people have managed to get that working. So who knows exactly how that is going to go. As far as the radar thing, which I don't think a radar is a thing in this either. Yeah, you absolutely do need to have a weather radar. Otherwise, you're going to be like me and you're going to have your weather app and then you're going to have like other weather apps for the radar that you're going to use to do things like that. The redundancy gets a little bit ridiculous. So definitely excited to see a proper uh, map. I'm assuming that they mean radar. What else would it possibly be? Something like that arriving very, very soon. Nonetheless, I expect this to be one of the new features of the Pixel 9 devices, the newly revamped weather application. Again, right now, I do think that it's maybe a little bit lackluster. I guess we can quickly compare it here to what we already have if I close my OnePlus open. I might actually think that this looks better. So right now, like comparing this to this, maybe right now, man, they both look really good. But I do think I like the current one a little bit better, which you can access simply by using the Google widget up here 
at the top. So maybe for now, just continue using that. We are in kind of a weird situation where they do kind of have two weather apps. One of them is a standalone app. One of them is part of Google. They're developing one. Maybe they're developing both. I don't know what to make of it. They'll probably all be like rolled into one thing. Widgets are definitely going to be a thing right now with this APK. There are no widgets. And that is a big part of what I love about the Pixel version of this weather application that's already there. The widgets look really, really good. So hopefully we'll get that rolling out very soon as well. At any rate, though, exciting times for weather applications. I know I'm probably the only one that cares about this, but if you've wondered, how can I get the Pixel Weather app on my phone? You have two ways because there are kind of two apps and you can do them both right now and maybe cool things are coming later on over the next uh, maybe couple of weeks or sooner as the Pixel 9 does launch on August the 13th. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.